biggest weakness in rugby, weakness. it's in the head. The winners don't always have the best players. The winners have the hardest mind. Well, I think back to 2007, South Africa were not a great team, but mentally, boy, they were rock hard. New Zealand in 1999 were a great team, but they fumbled. Well, strangely, given that Southern Hemisphere teams have tended to be in that final, I think the Southern Hemisphere team's weakness is that they don't play a lot of cup rugby. And potentially, if you can put, say, an Irish, an English or a French team into a cup final, they may have a slight edge temperamentally. It's the ability to, to execute the skills that you've spent years mastering under the highest pressure and making the clearest decisions. If you can't do that, then that could be your your biggest weakness. I think teams combat their own weaknesses by preparation. They all have gone through every drill, every play. They love, they've got mind coaches. They've visualised what happens when they get on the pitch. They've visualised kicking the ball. They've visualised passing the ball. They've visualised tackling people. But of course, when you get out onto the pitch in front of 80,000 people, it's slightly different. And that's when it just comes down to your own self-belief. And if you haven't got that, then you haven't got a chance. <laughs>